Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I'm Tanvi Arora, working here as a functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see an introduction to the transaction matching module in Oracle ARCS. So what is transaction matching module? It is basically reconciliation platform with pre-built configuration and adherence to industry's best practices in reconciliation. Most of the companies actually struggle with the inefficient, time-consuming, manual-intensive reconciliation processes due to com complex transactions. So if um, every transaction into the company is connected, or if we say if it is broken down, it contains quite a lot of many, uh, like quite a lot of parts. So let's say a basic sales transaction. It contains a part of invoice, the date, amount, customer's name, customer ID in your company, entity ID. If you're having a B2B transaction, your tax compliances, tax codes, and so many things. So every transaction into the company is outcome of so many parts. So many small, small parts, when we join them, it forms a total transaction into the company. So when um, we are performing the reconciliation into the company um, at the month end or the quarter or the frequencies uh, as per the organization. But when uh, we are performing the reconciliations, the re uh, uh, we, uh, we reconcile the balances. And along with that, most of time, let's say bank and uh, cash reconciliation, intercompany transactions. These are two very basic transactions that most of the companies nowadays have. So like uh, intercompany accounts, payable accounts, receivable transactions. So for these transactions, we have to reconcile the balances and also we match the transactions and the main motive of the matching of matching the transactions is whether both the transactions, though the amount is same, that means that has been reconciled, but transactions matching says that if we have two transactions of $5,000 each, then whether both the transactions have been aligned to the right customer, to the right invoices, to the right date, and there are so many parts uh, to the transactions. So the alignment of those is correct and accurate into the systems. So this is why transaction matching is also important to the company's reconciliation process. And transaction matching is a module within the Oracle ARCS application that has been um, uh, have been the feature, uh, uh, have been provided with the feature that facilitates preparation, review, and review of the reconciliation. So reconciliation, when you're preparing, you start with the transaction matching, you end it with the balance comparison and balance explanation, and you end the whole reconciliation process. So why transaction matching is important? When you are working for small companies, since you have uh, gone global, the industries have grown so much that even uh, small small uh, companies like MSME, they also have lakhs and lakhs of transactions into the into their monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly basis. So transaction matching actually helps uh, me to automate the companies to automate those high volume labor intensive reconciliations and integrate, uh, integrate the results with the reconciliation compliance module. So if I talk about the benefits, no remodeling is required. We don't need to change or restructure the whole accounting process. You, uh, we can even load or uh, load the balances through a flat file. It totally merges with the existing ERP system. So that's why no remodeling is required. Data integration and authorization, it has become very easy. Only the person who is authorized to view that account balance and that account transaction can view those, okay? Because uh, every uh, one has uh, their own ID and passwords. Evolved reconciliation process. Uh, this feature is uh, um, obviously this is the benefit of the transaction matching at, uh, as it has eased the uh, reconciliation process so much and to a great extent. Then downsize the closure. So uh, because of the new technology, uh, this process has become very easy. Then it has some auto match rules through which uh, the matching is going to take place between accounts um, like account A and account B, uh, like amount to amount, date to date. So uh, there are so many auto match rules into this. Then the accuracy has um, also improved a lot. So what are the steps for the transaction matching? The first step is the creation of the match types. Now, uh, these are the uh, like uh, data sources, okay? In the match type, we put the data sources um, 
these are the data sources for particular reconciliation and the rules uh, we also put in the match type. So basically, uh, the first step is to create a match type. The second step is to define my data sources. Now, data sources can be uh, more than two also. Uh, like they, uh, for example, if I'm taking the example of intercompany transactions, so uh, the, there is there are two data sources that is intercompany receivable and intercompany payable. And when uh, the next step uh, after defining the data sources is to uh, work with the transaction types, okay? And then uh, when my transaction types are defined, I define the process of the transaction matching. I put the rules into this. There are so many rules like one to one, one to many, many to one. And according to uh, those, my transaction matching process will be performed. And after uh, like uh, doing this, um, creating a match type, the next step then starts actually with the creation of a format. And then that uh, particular format is attached to a profile. And then uh, if you want, you can select uh, the reconciliation of the balances, the first module, and then you can, along with it, you can just uh, match the transactions also. So this is how the whole uh, process is done. Now, key concepts, match types, how the transaction matching process will work for the accounts using the, that particular match type. Or you can say it is the structure of the data to be matched as well as the, the rules are defined for the matching purpose. Then we define the data sources. So we will define one or more data sources. And then uh, those data sources will have attributes like uh, the column headings to the Excel sheets are called attributes. So we will uh, define the uh, attributes like uh, the invoice, the uh, name of the customer, the amount, debit amount, credit amount, all the attributes into each of my data sources, like for the receivables and for the payables. I will define and then I will compare both. Then I, I will also define my frequency, whether I want to match and balance daily or uh, match daily and balance monthly, matching and balance. Uh, balance monthly. Then uh, these are the matching rules that determine how matches are made. So this is the workflow for each account to be reconciled. This is the workflow that follows. So first of all, we need to import the data. Then uh, when the data is uh, imported into both the uh, data sources, then the uh, uh, run auto match is uh, run. Okay, so uh, when I run this, the transactions, the voluminous transactions, like thousands of transactions will automatically get matched according to the rules that have been provided in the match type. And uh, then the uh, preparer will be left only with a few transactions to match them uh, manually or to confirm with the suggested matches. Okay, so the third step is, the, uh, is for the preparer. He will confirm the suggested matches and then he will also perform the manual matches. Then rules and evaluation, matching rules, source invoice exactly matches subsystem invoice. So this is the exact match rule. Next is source system date matches with the tolerance of minus one to plus two of the subsystem date. So if uh, my subsystem, like my accounts payable is my subsystem. So if uh, it has the date, uh, uh, it can match, the source system date will match, uh, like the date is 3rd of January. So it will uh, match the date, it will take the date uh, of 2nd January and plus two is 5th January. So it will automatically uh, give me in the suggestions. This is the tolerance, okay? Source system amount matches exactly with the subsystem amount. This is the exact match. Also, this will be the balancing attribute. So we take amount always as the balancing attribute. Then order of evaluation is first one matches wins and the lowest transaction ID. So the, uh, these are the two uh, bases uh, through which we import the transactions. Okay. So uh, first one matches wins means transactions are actually evaluated on the basis of its presence in the database. The first transaction that satisfies the rules and the conditions is going to be selected for the purpose of transaction matching. The lowest transaction ID uh, rule is, order of evaluation is, uh, we upload the transactions from the flat file to the ARCS. ARCS application gives a unique ID to every transaction and that has been uploaded. So the transaction with the lowest ID, okay, will be loaded uh, first and will be given the priority. So this uh, goes uh, as per the ascending order. So this is the basic introduction class to transaction matching. Thank you so much.